Hi guys, so I want to show you what I think is the best AI drafting tool for lawyers currently on the market. And what sets it apart from its competitors is that it basically combines their own features and those of its competitors. So think of AI, Genie AI, um, Robin AI, Clause Buddy, all of that. It combines all those features that they offer and then more. So once you've logged in, this is the dashboard that you'll see and pretty clean, simple to use. And so what you'll also notice is that throughout the software, it has these instructions where it explains things to you. And you can also watch videos. You can click on these small round icons and it can link you to videos that you can use to explain things to you. So let's try typing um, a retainer agreement and see how quickly we can do that. So retainer agreement, right. And so what it will do is that you can type within your browser, no need for a Microsoft Word add-in, and you can also save your documents on the cloud. So we've um, we've named this retainer agreement and it's automatically filled that in on the document. And let's try agreement. Um, whereas, therefore, X, Y, and Z. So what it does is that while you're typing, it will format information for you. So while you're drafting, there's no need to worry about formatting. It will automatically do that for you. So that will save you a truckload of time. And then what you can also do is use its AI drafting assistant. So let's say you want to draft an agreement and you're not sure um, where to start or you want to do so really quickly. You click on this drafting assistant right here, then click on draft an outline for retainer. And then within seconds, all drafts will draft the outline for you. And once it's drafted the outline for you like this, it will create a table of contents for you to help you navigate your document, especially as it gets bulky, that can be quite tiresome. And then it will also create a terms feature here. So not only would it create a terms feature, but it's also got a definitions feature. So it will automatically highlight sections in the contract and link those to definitions or terms, which you can add to, or you can remove. What they also give is a signature section. So instead of um, subscribing to another third party signature software like WorkBee or DocuSign, you can do so within your own um, all drafts software and you can share it with your clients and your colleagues and they can sign the document for you. A feature which they haven't implemented, which they do intend on, um, on implementing uh, soon, is uh, where you can ask AI to um, list certain things. So as you can see, um, miscellaneous, there's a list of different things. But um, let's say you wanted to list um, intellectual property, sections on intellectual property, you could ask AI to do that for you. And um, it can elaborate clauses by listing things for you. They haven't yet added that feature. Next, what you can also do is fill in the gaps. So this is just the outline. And what you want to do is quickly fill in the gaps um, for your contract. And the first feature on filling in gaps is uh, copy and pasting. So if you go to a uh, dispute resolution right here, it will allow you to copy and paste, say from a PDF from um, a Google Doc or Word document. And once you hit paste, it will automatically format um, that information for you. So what can be irritating is when you um, copy and paste chunks of information from another document, you have to go back and format everything according to um, how you usually draft it will do that automatically for you. And again, it will hyperlink um, common clauses and co common um, terms and definitions for you. And then you can always add them um, if they're missing. The next gap filling feature that they have is um, all drafts is extensive clause database. And we want to use all drafts existing um, clause database. We can just hit insert clause, and then it will automatically search for retainer fee and then bring up bunch of different templates for you. And then you can always uh, check different variants. So obviously um, there are different um, variations of the same clause that you're searching for. And it has this red lining feature for you to show you the differences between the variations. And then all you have to do is um, hit insert. There we go. And then again, it will automatically hyperlink and uh, define terms for you, add certain features to the table of contents. So no need to do that, it will automatically add that for you and automatically add the terms feature for you. You're wondering what these um, these sections are, these yellow highlighted sections are. They're basically um, fields that will allow you to repurpose this document into a form that your clients can fill out 
and you can generate um contracts by your client filling out these sections. So if you wanted to um not redraft these um retainer agreements every time a client wants to retain you, you can basically convert this into a form. They fill out the form and then it automatically generates the retain retainer agreement for you. So you can repurpose these documents so you won't have to keep redrafting them. So um, let's say you go to view uh, as a questionnaire user. This is what your client will see. And so you can add as many fields as you want and they will just select information right here and then that will generate the document for you. Say we want to instruct the client right here. So we click on uh, insert instruction. There we go. And so let's say assume that the fee is in USD and you need when we insert figures and not the symbols. There we go. And so you can determine who that's visible to. So it can be visible to your team, it can be visible to the client, and then it will um change colors so your colleagues will be uh, blue and team and then red would be for your clients and so if you go to view uh, green is client sorry not red uh, red is opposing counsel and then green is your client and then blue is um, your team members so there you have it folks um, let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll catch you on the next one thanks guys